Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com and in today's quick tutorial we're going to talk about combinations. When you need to count the number of groupings without regard to order, then combinations is the way to go. Now recall in a previous tutorial that I went over permutations. Permutations specifically count the number of ways a task can be arranged or ordered. That is the fundamental difference between the two. A permutation is with regard to order and combinations is without regard to order. So if you guys need a refresher on that, uh, you can go ahead and jump over to that tutorial once this one's complete. Uh, this one will be completely standalone so you can continue to uh, watch and follow along. Um, so let's first start off by defining a combination. An arrangement of R objects without regard to order and without repetition selected from N distinct objects is called a combination. So to put that uh, in, into an equation, a combination, a combination, oops, a combination of N objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial. So the difference between combinations and permutations again is in combinations you are counting groups. Order is not important. And in permutations you are counting different ways to arrange items with regard to order. The N and the R mean the same thing in both permutation and combinations, but the formula dif differs. And it differs by this R factorial in the denominator. So let's define that one more time. An arrangement of R objects without regard and I will emphasize without without regard to order and without repetition selected from selected from n distinct objects is called a combination. That's it. So without regard without regard to order combinations with regard to order permutation. So let's go through an example to illustrate that. Let's say that we want to draw three marbles at random from a bag containing three red and five white marbles. So we want to take three marbles at random from a bag that contains three red and five white. So this is the bag and the bag has eight total marbles and we want to take three. So how many different draws or how many different ways or uh, how many different uh, ways can, can three marbles come out of this bag of eight? this bag of eight that's broken up into three red and five white. This would be a combination problem because a draw would be a group of marbles without regard to order. It is like grabbing a handful of marbles and just looking at them. Note that there are no special conditions placed on the marbles that we draw so this is straightforward combination problem. And note that if we are putting these marbles in any kind of order 
then we would need to use permutations to solve the problem. But in this case, order does not matter, so we're going to use combinations. So let's go ahead and define n and r for our uh, combination equation. n is the number of marbles we, cho we, we can choose from, and this bag, once again, has 8 total marbles, so n is equal to 8. R is the number of marbles we will be drawing at one time, and we want to choose three marbles, so R is equal to three. And all we need to do is plug this into our combination equation, which is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, r factorial. And plugging that in, n is equal to eight, and r is equal to three. And uh, simplifying that, we got 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial and 3 factorial. So once again, you can simplify this further by uh, recognizing that 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 all the way down to 1. And that 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 and notice that we can just uh, eliminate a couple of these factors here because they just divide out and our final answer is going to be 8 times 7 times 6 divided by 3 times 2 times 1 and in this case there's it's going to equal 56 and so there are 56 different draws that can come from uh, this bag of eight total marbles. So let's move on with uh, using this same bag of marbles. Let's move on to another example to illustrate another scenario. So let's say this time that we want to know how many different draws would contain only red marbles. So remember there's eight total marbles and that three are red and that five are white and out of these eight marbles we're still choosing three at random. So once again this is a combination problem because the draw would be a group of the marbles and with without regard to order and so in part A, we, dis we determined how many different possible draws there are, which is 56. Now we want to know, out of those 56, how many would give us 3 red. So our draw would look like just 3 red marbles. So let's go ahead and define N and R. So N in this case is n is the number of red marbles we can choose from and in this case there's only three red marbles that are in the bag so n is equal to three and r is the number of red marbles that are drawn at a time once again three are three are randomly chosen but we want all three of those to be red marbles so r is also going to equal three so plugging that into our combination equation n factorial divided by n minus r factorial r factorial n is equal to 3 factorial 3 minus 3 factorial r factorial oops r is equal to 3 this simplifies out the 3 factorial over 0 factorial times 3 factorial and uh, we can figure out that that's equal to 1 so out of the 56 possible draws, only one draw would contain three red marbles. So let's go one more. Let's go just a bit further to complicate it a little bit more, but to illustrate the use of a combination in a different scenario. Let's use the same uh, bag of eight marbles. So once again, we have eight marbles. three of which are red and five are white. 
So in this case, how many different draws would contain one red marble and two white marbles? So we want one red marble and we want two white marbles. So once again, this is a combination problem because uh, this draw would be just a group of marbles without regard to order. And like, uh, like we stated before in the first part of this problem, there's 56 possible draws. And of those draws, we want to know how many of them would have one red and two white. So first we need to determine N and R. Together, that would make up one draw. We are going to have to use the counting principle in this problem to, uh, to help us out. Note how one draw, one draw of three marbles, is split into two parts, red and white. We cannot combine them together because we need a particular number for each one. So we will figure out how many ways to get one red marble and how many ways to get two white marbles and use the counting principle. Um, we will multiply these numbers together to get our final um, possible outcomes, possible draws. So let's start out with one red. So N in this case would be the number of red marbles we can choose from. So in the bag, there's three red marbles. And R would be the number of red marbles we are drawing at a time. And in this draw, we want one red marble. So um, plugging that in to the equations, we get N is equal to 1. and Or sorry, N is equal to 3 and R is equal to 1. And so that uh, gives us, if we calculate that out, that gives us, or simplify, that gives us 3, 2 factorial times 1 factorial. Now before we calculate this out, let's go ahead and just uh, look at the white scenario. Let's say we want two whites. So in this case, n is equal to 5 because there's five white marbles in the bag. And in this case, we also want two of those, two of the three that we choose to be white. So r is equal to 2. So plugging that in to the equation, we have n is equal to 5 and we have r is equal to 2. So to simplify that, that's 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Now to get the total number of possible draws that would contain one red and two white, we use the, we use the counting rule and multiply these two uh, two possibilities together to get the final value. So that would give us 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 1 factorial for our red scenario right here. Multiply that out by 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And so we can just uh, use our calculator in this case would probably be the most simple way but you can simplify it by um, you know, simplifying each of these uh, into simpler, more simple terms. So we got 3 over 1 multiplied by 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 1. And that equals 30. So out of the 56 possible draws that we determined in the first part, 30 of those would contain w one red and two white marbles. So that's it. Uh, that's all that uh, combinations consist of. I hope that uh, helped you guys out a little bit, refreshed it just a tiny bit. Um, if you guys have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact me over at engineerandtrainingexam.com. I'd be more than happy to uh, help you out in whatever way you need. So we'll be talking soon.